most exciting man in mixed martial arts today. My fantasy football team is Team Gaethje. Justin Gaethje, since signing with the UFC a few years ago, has absolutely taken this promotion by storm. And he's only in main events. He's only in main events because you know, when you put Justin Gaethje at the top of the marquee, people will show up to watch in the arena, but they will also tune in on their television sets, on their computers, their laptops, on your PS4 or your Xbox, regardless of the console, people will show up to watch Justin Gaethje fight. All action fighter has great wrestling, but it's his boxing and his leg kicks that has truly made him special to fight fans all around the world. Justin Gaethje, as usual, ready to battle as he tries to take home the title. So here is Dustin Poirier making the walk for yet another big UFC spot here tonight. UFC 236 was his coming out party, DC. He ended Max Holloway's 13-fight winning streak and in a near-perfect performance in a lot of respects, was able to realize a UFC interim lightweight. They say diamonds are forever, and so is Dustin Poirier. It seems like he's been here the whole time. We've seen this young man grow up in the UFC. We saw him at 145 pounds have a ton of success, but we've truly seen him come into his own as he's going up to lightweight. He's become a UFC interim champion, and he's beaten guys like Eddie Alvarez, Justin Gaethje, and Max Holloway. One of the best fighters at 155 is Dustin Poirier. And with Dustin Poirier and Daniel Cormier safe to say, that Lafayette, Louisiana has made a pretty good UFC footprint over the last few years. I love years. It. Dustin Poirier back on the proven ground here tonight. Our tail of the tape now for this lightweight championship fight. All right, now to get us started, we go inside the octagon where we find Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the challenger, Justin the Highlight Gaethje. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner, ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending UFC lightweight Champion of the world, Dustin the Diamond Poirier. Herbert Dean's in the building. He's the third man in the octagon tonight. All right, two UFC megastars ready to engage. Former UFC interim lightweight champions Justin Gaethje and Dustin Poirier. Not a whole lot of heat on the matchup per se, but Dustin did public. <laughs> What a great fight so far. These guys are laying it all out on the line. Oh, huge kick to the leg. Now we're going. Oh, with authority, the body. Before he is landing, big shot. There's a big right for hunting tonight, huh? Yeah, he's great with the jab. And not only as a setup, he really is trying to get damage off every time he throws his punch. Immediately gets the underhook. Oh, big power left hand from Dustin Poirier at times. Oh, what a connection by him there. His opponent could be out of here soon, DC. Double done. I mean, when you get hit with a shot like that, you don't know what one high grab a record. He's, I mean, he's confused. He's a Back and 
fourth we go. Poirier's limping heavily now. May want to raise a knee and try to check one of those kicks. I'm just not sure that his leg is going to hold up much longer as this fight continues. And he has a great double leg. Oh, good to see that a great double leg. Just out of range with that right hand. Guess the single collar tie now. Oh, he got tagged something fierce there. Great combination. This fight's gonna be over DC. What a great way of mixing up his attack. He didn't stay the course. He mixed it up. He went high level. He thought he was going low. But now he's got him hurt very bad. Oh, Late round action here. I can barely hear myself inside this arena. Many of these people have come to see Justin Gaethje. And he has rewarded them with his striking team. I mean, that's what he does. <laughs> oh, how good is this? Both men going for the finish. Seconds left. All right, so the swelling becoming a real factor right now. Oh! oh, I think he's still compromised. We'll see if he can recover here. He's in a world of trouble. Back and forth, first round. All right, let's check out some of the action DC and how about the punching acumen by that fighter in that previous one. You ready to fight? Ready. All right, second round underway. All of himself into that kick. Oh! Trying to recover, but he's in a lot of trouble. Back to the feet. Ooh, nice job by the bottom fighter there. Feet right to the hips and an aggressive push off to get back. Yeah, understanding that you now have distance, you now have space. Your opponent's pushing into you, you're pushing away. It creates a friction. A nice stoppage win for him here tonight. And the other side just couldn't handle the incoming assault. A flurry of punches, most of them upstairs. And when those big shots land repeatedly, the referee has no choice but to step in and call the fight. Here's Bruce Buffer. He has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at 55 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by TKO and new UFC lightweight champion of the world, Justin the Highlight Gaethje. All right, Justin Gaethje, your winner tonight by TKO. Pretty difficult matchup on paper, and yet Gaethje emerges victorious yet again. He's a winner. The guy's a winner. He does not care who you are. He loves to fight, and he wants to take your head off. Once he got his opponent hurt, put his foot on the gas and got the TKO victory.